imagine hundreds of years ago, Native Americans, before America was even America, Native, thousands of years ago even, would come to this property right where I'm standing and have rituals. They would gather. I hear from the locals that three separate tribes would come together and do rituals here on the ridge. No native tribe would live on this property. I don't know why, no one really knows why they wouldn't live here, but they would hunt here. This was their hunting area. This is where they would hunt. And there are thousands of arrowheads throughout the property. But on this open space right here, which you can see, They would uh, come and gather and probably have a huge fire, much bigger than that. Have a large fire and do powwow, do whatever natives hundreds of years ago used to do. And I think that energy in and of itself is really cool to be a part of or have or own in my family, this land. Natives most likely found sacred and holy. They're, uh, I'm sure they found where they where they would locate their source of sustenance. I'm sure they would bless that land, and this is that land. I'm sure their ritual areas, much like the Catholics, are blessed and sacred to them. And this is that land. And now that it's in our property, I've had this blessed and consecrated uh, by the Catholic Church. And we are here to cultivate and grow new the creation of God in nature. Uh, this property was obtained by my family on the day of the Our Lady of Fatima, Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary of Fatima, and we turn to the Blessed Mother and her family, Christ and St. Joseph, for guidance, tranquility, peace, and mindfulness, and all sorts of blessings. So again, hail Mary and praise God.